So let's just talk about middleware in Express. So middleware is just like a function and the function has access to the request object and the response object. So we can call app.use and the function takes one callback method with the request object, the response object and the next. And then we can just define that callback function and we can write our logic here. And we can perform several different tasks here. Like an example we can, we can execute code, we can modify the request and the response object, we can authenticate, we can validate, we can log on the console and lastly we can call the next middleware. After we have done performing our task we can call the next and it will call the next middleware that is in the stack. Like an example suppose we have another middleware with the request response and the next and here also we can perform other tasks and then we can call the next again and the next will call the next middleware that is in the middleware stack. So this way we can perform so many different tasks and this is how the middleware in express functions. So here we're gonna see how we can use the middleware. So here we have to use router.use and this way we can use the middleware. The middleware takes three parameters the request object, the response object and the next. So we have to define the callback method. Now here we can perform so many tasks. Like an example we can console log API called. And once we have performed our task then we can call the next and this will call the next middleware and this way we can define several different other middlewares another middleware with the request response and the next so here we can modify the request object so we can set the header like we can use the request dot header and here we can set the content type to application json and after we have done with that middleware we can call on to the next middleware so this way we can use so many different middlewares in a chain and we can perform so many different tasks. And finally here we are sending the user's ID and here also we can print the header that we have set. So we can print header and we are going to print the request.headers content type. And here also we can use the next and we can call the next middleware and finally we can use the request response and here we can just simply console log API ended. So first of all we have started with this middleware which console logs API called then we are calling the next middleware which is this one and this is just setting the headers content type to application JSON and then we are calling the next middleware which calls this middleware and this is just sending the response with the user ID and the header that we have set and then we are calling on to the next middleware and here we are just basically console logging API ended. So let's now open the Thunder client and here we are just gonna create one new request. So we are gonna use localhost 3000 slash users slash 123. So click on send. So you can see we are getting the user id 123 and header as undefined. We have to use headers instead of header. So let's now see that so click on send it is working fine so we have the user id and the header that we have set and you can see in the console we have the api called and the api ended so here first of all we have started with the api called and then at last we have the console log api ended so if you have noticed so all of the middlewares are working in a chain one after another because of this next function so this is the way we can use the middleware and we can perform so many tasks like execute code, we can modify the request response object, we can authenticate, validate and so on. And finally we can call on to the next middleware that is in the middleware chain. So this way middleware provides a powerful way to handle various aspects of the web application development from authentication to handling errors. So hope you understand the concept. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.